February 1st, 2020. We're about four hours in. Got the intake off. I'm looking at these gaskets. Oh, there ain't no doubt these uh, head gaskets are shelled too, I'm pretty sure. Now I'm probably about 30 minutes from having that head off, if that long. I got a jacket up going in there and unbolt that cross member. Take that pipe right there out. And we're gonna have a head off of it. Real close to have two heads off of it, but I'm not I'm not gonna do these heads both at the same time. I'm gonna do them one at a time. You need to keep track of your push rods and your rockers. You know, make some kind of a holder, keep them getting them mixed up. You wanna pretty much strip everything out of the way to pull this intake. You will have to pull the valve covers to pull the intake. You pull your coolant pipe here out of the back. This doesn't have to come off. Of course, there's my injection rail, my thermostat housing, and one of my coolant pipes to the heater core. Add the other coolant pipe in the different box. I think it's in the back seat. I kind of put this in order, kind of the way I took it apart. It pretty much starts in the car and it ends up back here in the trunk. And start with the ram air and the battery and the, get all that off there. And take your alternator off, take cruise control off, take your time and tensioner off, alternator off. You gotta remove the power steering pump. Now I did not have to let the engine up, pick, pick the engine up to get that off there. Yeah, we're just about there. Looks pretty good. The fuel lines were kind of tough. This is just a fuel line right here. It did not want to come out, but it did finally come out. Lots of coaxing. Wow, there's the shunt. I've actually had to change seals on these for oil leakage. I wonder if it's leaking, because it sure looks like it is. At least I know where it's at. Oh, I tell you what, with all that assembled, you'd be... Be playing hard time getting to that shunt. Yeah, I've actually had oil leaks. Fixed a couple oil leaks on the older 3.1s. I mean, we're talking late 90s for leaking oil.